Hello, welcome, 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 welcome. I've seen a few problems which I thought I'd try and explain here and get you well out of the doldrums and give you information that will make your day and make your year. <laughs> anyway, right. Channels and confusion. I was watching a video the other day and it was a very good one, all about channels three and four for video games and VCRs. It was an American video, but that shouldn't be held against it. <laughs> anyway, in the comments, there was some confusion from subscribers. It, it came down to the English and American use of the word channel. The confusion arises from things like, well, in, for instance, in the UK, BBC One TV is known as Channel One, BBC Two is known as Channel Two, ITV is Channel Three, and Channel Four is on Channel Four, and Channel Five is on Channel Five. So everybody thinks TV channels are those. This is just a way that the public should know or do know of which button to press on their TV. When governments and broadcasting regulation statutory bodies like the FCC or the UK's equivalents decide what frequencies of radio f space can be used for what job, they assign frequency. The number of allocated by the UK, for instance, with CB radio have no direct connection with the numbers issued by other government bodies, for instance, USA CB. When the UK introduced CB radio, they introduced a 27 megahertz, which sounds like the same frequency as USA, and they introduced 40 channels, but they did it on FM. Now, Channel 1 USA CB was at 26.965 megahertz, and then it's going up in equal steps to Channel 40 at 27.405 megahertz. UK 27 megahertz CB Channel 1 is at 27.60125 megahertz, and Channel 40 is at 27.99125 megahertz. As you can see, they're not related at all. There's nothing like each other. Because for a radio receiver to receive a channel or station, you have to know what it is being transmitted on. For instance, 200 kilohertz medium wave is radio for UK, and it needs to be exactly that frequency. For instance, amateur radio, two meter band, which is 144 megahertz to 146 megahertz. There are different allocations within those frequencies for specific activities. However, the majority of the frequencies are available as you wish. And as a licensed operator, you can choose to the frequency rather than the channel. But there is a lot of work involved in that. And people normally stick to a simple form of channel allocation. They have a call-in frequency, which they will call on. And then they go off and find another frequency themselves in one. So, in short... Except in international frequencies like maritime and airband, the allocation of channels to RF spectrum is totally at the discretion of the countries and it comes down to their allocation bodies. I hope that clears up some confusion. If you've got some value from this video, please like and subscribe and I'll catch you another time. Any questions, put them in the comments down below and you'll probably find an interesting video there and I'll try and catch you another time. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.